We're talking with Daniel Troutner, the Rec Services Manager of the Point Vincenti Interpretive Center, and we're standing here in the lobby. And Dan, uh, this is a pretty impressive thing. I mean, we've got a big skeleton up there, and this, I guess, is a whale up there. Right. Tell us a little bit about what some of the things are. What we have here is a skeleton of a one-year-old uh, gray whale that washed up on shore down in Mexico um, several years back. It was uh, purchased and then donated to the city, uh, and actually our, our docents were, um, were the group responsible for recreating and, and mounting. So uh, we, we have the uh, whale skeleton of the gray whale. We also have a few-week-old um, gray whale. That's, uh, that kind of gives uh, visitors, when they come in, it's a real impact piece, and it gives them uh, an idea of uh, scale and size. So Dan, we're standing in a place and I see a sign that says native people, and yet there's all sort of displays here. So tell us about this. What exactly is it? Right, so this is our, our Tonga Village exhibit. It uh, gives um, visitors an opportunity to see what life was like back for uh, the, earlier, the early settlers, the uh, natives to the hill. Um, this is a... Uh, uh, Tonga village and um, uh, you know it, it shows it shows a, a family and, and what they might be engaging in at, at the time and they had this here on the peninsula correct and then we also have artifacts that are in display cases and it's it's a big hit with the school groups and um, and, and the tours isn't it wonderful I always think it's wonderful that people through the ages save stuff like this I mean when you look at all this Artifacts. Yeah, I think it's wonderful that people save that. Right. It's a, it. It not only is it. Um, it's a blessing that we're able to uh, have these uh, uh, artifacts donated to the city. But it, it's a great opportunity for us to put them on display and help with the school the school tours. You keep mentioning schools, and I think that's wonderful. So if you have a school, uh, you know, that needs to go out and do things, this is a great place to come. But in regard to that, Dan, all this stuff here and all the stuff around uh, the interpretive center, are the people when school groups come that sort of go around with the groups and explain what everything is? Correct. We, we have our docent group, our Los Serenos docent and volunteer group. Uh, they're our partnership program here with the city, and they are able to um, give tours that are scheduled uh, whether it's a school group or it's another, uh, you know, we have sometimes senior groups that come through. But we also have a daily docent that's here and gives a free tour for anyone who's, who uh, is interested in, in having a, a led tour through the museum. So we're standing uh, surrounded by, by whales. This is kind of scary, right? All right. So this is our marine mammals uh, portion of, of the tour. Uh, folks can come in and we have interactive whale. We also have a... Uh, uh, display that gives kind of a, a scale and size of the different whales. Um, we, we also have our, uh, our theater, which um, has a touch screen and folks can choose between several different movies that highlight the hill, marine land, and um, uh, information on, on the marine mammals and fish. I think that's interesting because so often when you see whales on television or wherever, they're so enormous. So I think to have the kind of displays you've got here where you can see right. up close and personal how big or how small they are. They can grow up to over, well over 100, 100 feet. And the thing, it's probably my British sense of humor, but when you say interactive whale, I mean, well, that's kind of weird. Right. So this is our interactive whale. And John, if you want to go ahead and take a look in, in that... Uh in, in that door, you might get an idea of what the inside of a whale will look like. Whoa, oh my goodness me, look at that. Woo! The inside of a whale, I've never seen that before. So come on down and you can see inside a whale. Come on down. <laughs>